Hey guys, like, subscribe, bell, face. Let's get into the video. Good morning, happy Monday. I'm on my way to the gym. It is a little past where I wanted to leave. I wanted to get up at 6.30, be out of the house by seven. I didn't get out of the bed until about 7.15. So it is what it is. It's 7.29 now. So not that horrible. I mean, even if I were to spend 45 minutes, I'd still be out by 8.30, home by 9 or by 8.45, showered, ready to go. I'm gonna have to fix that when I get there. Uh, and like ready for the day by probably like 9 30 10 o'clock I go into work at 11 30 so golden um I am a look today I am in some Mickey Mouse LuLaRue leggings <laughs> my hair is doing something I'll take it out and re-put it up this is a good look yes uh feeling good about today I'm gonna go and do the bike for a little while how long I don't know we shall see probably about 45 minutes uh oh hold on I can't let you see me like this that's a disadvantage of being a giant because when I have my hair up in a messy bun it's too high and then it hits the top of the roof I'm gonna stop at Circle K get a bottle of even this looks like shit a bottle of water and a bang because that is my life um did I tell you I lost five pounds this week? I'm pretty sure that I did. And I'm pretty sure I lost it all right here because I can actually see it. This is still healing. It has a little bit of a scab. I swear if this scars, I'm going to be very pissed. Very pissed. Because <laughs> that would be my luck, having a facial scar nine months before a wedding. Uh, any wedding news? I don't think so. I'm still waiting on the wedding planner to email me back from six days ago to set up a conversation. She's slowly losing my trust. Uh, I understand that she works another job. However, I also follow her Facebook page and she's posting on that. So I don't see why you can't send me an email that says, hey, I can talk to you on this day. Not difficult. I haven't emailed her and was like, hey, uh, you can't talk till after 4 p.m. I'm available on Wednesday and Friday at this time. Does that work? No response. I emailed her Thursday. Hey, are you good for tomorrow, 5 to 5.30 at your time? No response. So, and I've asked her like twice a very specific question because I need to let my caterer know. Like, I just, I don't, I don't understand why she can't return my call or return my, my email. I'm going to give her till the end of day today and then I'm going to message her tonight and be like, hey, listen, if I don't hear back from you soon, I'm going to have to go with another planner. Like, I know where I'm not your client technically yet, but we should have some communication because you should want me to become your client. Does that, am I the only one that thinks six days to go without an email is a little absurd? I'm officially at Circle K. I'll let you know how my workout goes. So that was a short workout. Uh, my legs hurt really bad. So I wanted to stop at around three miles. I made it to five. A little over like 5.2 uh I feel like I even got my knees checked because it's not normal for there to be that much pressure um that's all I did though so I always feel like people are judging me like people who haven't gotten off the same machine in the amount of time I was there and then I'm just like like I always that's okay you just come pl like plowing through that's fine dick um like, I kind of try to make it look like I'm on a time crunch. Like, I only have time for 20 minutes, but at least I'm here. And I don't know why. Like, why do I care? Why do I care? Why? Why do I care? Um, I never got a beverage because I realized that Friday night, I asked, Dave, no, Saturday. Saturday, I asked Dave to grab my wallet for me. I was on the couch. So I did a little bit of Christmas shopping. And I left my wallet sitting on my couch. So, that was fun. Uh, so I am like dying of thirst. So as soon as I get in the house, I will have some water. I do have to stop at UPS because I bought some things to go with the, the balloon idea. 
and I did not read the description. All I saw was that it was Ivy and it looked really good. So I was like, all right, score. It was cheap enough. It's ribbon. This is not what I need. So I have to send that back to Amazon to get a refund, which I use the refund I got from my digital spoon to buy that. So it'll just go back onto a gift card. I'm so tired. Like, if I could just wake up in August and have like the wedding be finished for me and paid for, that'd be swell. That would be swell. I have to fill out the catering contract. We did bring it down from nine grand to 4,900, but because we cut some people, we have 135 people, which I know it'll be less once the actual like final number is there, I hope, but we might just keep it at 135. Um, just to have like leftovers and stuff. So, but we are going with Mission Barbecue, which is fun. Uh, yeah, so I will uh, talk to you throughout the day whilst I eat the foods. We aren't doing makeup today. We are looking like this because, ew, David. I love Dan Levy so much. Uh, coffee. Happy turkey day! Blah. That's blueberry coffee with pumpkin creamer. Two net carbs. Don't care that I'm drinking my carbs. I'm desperately trying to find some sort of recipe to do with uh, walnut flour because I have a bag of it and I need to make a video with it. I think I have one, but now I need to find a freaking mount for my phone so I can actually do the video or my camera so much I'm about an hour and a half before I do in work and I'm gonna relax and fart around I will see you soon all right all right so I am going upstairs for work I am bringing a chocolate toffee keto chow made with two tablespoons of butter and eight ounces of almond milk along with some water and I'm gonna snack on those also bringing a diet Pepsi yeah I just got like crazy ravenously hungry American cheese turkey smart bun pickle mayonnaise so good I look like a hot mess so I took a break shower which is a shower on my break as it is so eloquently labeled um so whilst doing the break shower um all of those. I decided I was going to make um, meat sauce for dinner. So I'm gonna real fast because I have ten minutes left on my break because I poured my break. That doesn't fit. Damn it! I poured my break so I can like actually enjoy it. Um, so I am going to defrost some meat. And then, oh look, I reorganized by the way. Doesn't that look so much better? So much better. Um, this side though is still a hot mess because of all the, could I have more mugs? Where was I? What was I saying? Gonna defrost the meat and then when I get done work, I'm gonna come downstairs, cook it in the thing that does all the, the, the pressure cooker. I'm gonna brown it and then throw it in with a jar of sauce. I'll make him pasta and I have low carb pasta I can have. So I'm going to do that. I will show you when that is ready to go. All right. So this is dinner. I have some low carb ziti with my meat sauce, which is pretty okay. Um, but I don't like the sauce that I got. Like I literally just like cooked a pound of ground beef and shoved a bottle of sauce into the instant pot and pressure cooked it. I added some spices and stuff, but it still mostly tastes just like the sauce, which I won't get again. Um, but that and some cheese and all of the, all of the pastiness. So I'm going to enjoy this and watch the 12th date of Christmas and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.